Why can't children vote in the elections? That's a good question. Uh, I think that at the age of 16, you should be able to vote. I think sometimes adults think they know everything. Truth is they don't. Uh, young people know lots of things, really important things. And I think the age of 16 is the right age. So you're grown up enough, but you're still young enough to have all that, those wonderful, creative, young person thoughts. If you weren't in politics, what would you be doing right now? That's a good question. I think I would like to have been a teacher. I did some teaching before I was a politician. Actually, I used to teach very, very young children, kindergarten children, when I was a student and my summer holidays. So I like that. So I think that's a really, really good job. Yeah, I would like to ask the party leaders which party would they vote for if their own party did not exist? A party that was for Irish unity, a party that cared about people, cared about having a fair society and a healthy planet. What makes you different to other politicians? The fact that I'm me. Each of us is different, every person. I'm the kind of person that likes to meet people. I'm a very good listener and I take my time with people. What are the leaders planning to do about the trolley crisis? This is terrible that anybody would be on a trolley in a hospital. It's just really, really awful for sick people or older people to, to be left in that way. So we need to fix the health system and that's going to take us some time. But immediately we need to have more beds in our hospitals. We can do that quite quickly. And of course we need the nurses and the doctors to make sure that we can care for people when they come to our hospitals. It's gonna cost quite a lot of money, but it's money that has to be spent. I wanna ask the leaders what they're going to do about homes. We are going to build houses, lots of houses. We are going to cut rents, and then we're gonna freeze them so that they can't keep going up and up. We are going to make sure that no child is in a hotel room or in a B&B &B and that no family is living in a tiny, tiny little room, maybe in their nanny's house or a friend's house. So this, I think, is actually the most important issue in this election. What do you plan on doing for climate change? So we are going to have more trains, more buses, we're going to try and use the car less and less and use public transport more and more. And one of the ideas we have is to make buses and trains and all transport free for everybody who's under the age of 18. Because I know that all of you young people care particularly about the planet and transport is one really, really important area in that. Hi, my name is Sean and I'm from Scullery, the Crossmartin National School of Bandon and I'd like to know what you do in your spare time. Oh, I wish I had more free time. Um, but in my free time, I have two children, so I'm at home a lot. I have to obviously take care of them and spend time with them. I like to go out for a walk. I like to read a book. I like to go to the cinema. I like going to the pictures, but um, sometimes it's just very difficult to get to get enough time to do all those things. If you're a superhero, what superhero would you be? Mm, I would be Wonder Woman. I would be Wonder Woman. I think she's amazing. When, when I was uh, a girl, I loved her. I loved the fact that she could do that and make bad things go away. And she has the truth rope and you can put it around somebody and ask them any question and they have to tell you the truth. I think that would be brilliant, particularly because I'm a leader and particularly because I'm a politician. Imagine what I could do with that truth rope.